day after the attacks, Libya has a new prime minister and there is a local connection. Mustafa Abu Shagur is a former RIT professor and he's doing political work in Libya. Tonight, Caroline Tucker talked with a colleague at RIT. Caroline? Maureen Mustafa served as president of RIT's Dubai campus and was a professor of microsystems engineering. He left his post last November to become Libya's deputy prime minister to help build democracy in his homeland. Mustafa Abu Shagar joined RIT in 2002. That's when associate professor Carl Hirschman met him. I knew Mustafa as he joined RIT as the director of our um, PhD program in microsystems engineering. RIT says Abu Shagar led what was the world's first doctoral program in microsystems engineering. He was very caring. Um, students absolutely came first. But the RIT professor who earned his degrees from Caltech had another calling. He was a refugee and was on the most wanted list in Libya because he actively opposed former dictator Muammar Gaddafi. He became deputy prime minister in 2011 when Gaddafi died. I'm sure uh, wrestled with uh, leaving his post uh, at RIT Dubai, um, but he had long uh, since been looking forward to reform in his country, and this was a way in which he could then participate and help and help make things happen. On Wednesday, Parliament elected him to take over as Libya's new prime minister, one day after the bombing of the American embassy. He wrote on his Twitter account that he was friends with Ambassador Chris Stevens, going on to say he condemned the, quote, barbaric acts, saying, quote, this is an attack on America, Libya, and free people everywhere. Um, his former colleagues um, at home say the election was a surprise, but they are proud. He is driven to succeed, so we, I think, are, are very confident that uh, the country will be moving forward in a positive direction. Mustafa was expected to return to RIT after his duties in Libya. However, his new post will be for the next 18 months. Caroline Tucker, News 8. Earlier today, we talked with a Libyan grad student at RIT who is clearly concerned about the future of his country. Mohammed El Sharif hasn't been back to Libya in two yeah, years, guy. but he has spent all morning glued to the computer talking with his friends and family. And he's also angry about the death of the U.S. ambassador. He says Libyans viewed Christopher Stevens as somebody who could really work to repair relations. El Sharif is afraid Stephen's death will do serious damage to the relationship between the U.S. and Libya. It will affect not only like this bunch of people who did this, but the whole people in Libya and in the country. So now all the world, they think that Libya is not safe, they will not go there, there is no economic growth and the companies will leave. El Sharif hopes the new Libyan Prime Minister will act quickly to keep the country safe before the attack ruins progress made during the Arab Spring Revolution.